Welcome to the week seven and six in review. Ooh. Hello, Mr. Heath. How Hello. Are you spooky? I'm scary spooky. I'm scary good at fantasy football. That's what I know. <laughs> Listen to them, children of the night, what music <laughs> they make, except for us last week. Sorry, our few dedicated fans that looked for us last week. I was stuck in the hospital with my son. We Nothing had a good excuse. Serious. It was a bunch of tests that turned out to be uh, not so much. So I will get into that uh, in detail if anybody wants to know that long and sad story. But that is why I missed it. Uh, Kevin was nice enough to offer something, but we just tried to make it work and couldn't get it done before I got home. So anyway, without further ado, we're going to make a very short review of week six to get into the normal meat of week seven and we Just have because we forgot time. yeah we're right but so we yeah. have to be cognizant of our time and not cut it back like okay did that one week all right so let's talk about two weeks ago let's start off with your sister's game against Mr. Poppin' okay. Jays. Yeah, so again, just as a reminder, this is two weeks back now, not last week, but the week before, week six. Uh, we got the gentleman for quarterlies pulling out a nine-point victory over the Poppin' Jays, which helped me stay competitive in our division because it's tough in that one. Uh, I'm looking at it here. I'm assuming these are actual scores, so uh, great scores Correct. from Allen and Diggs. Is that a, uh, is that a link? I think so. Excuse me? Josh Allen and Stefan Diggs, are they together? Uh, yes, yes, they are yeah, on the same team. Yeah, that's what I thought. Jesus Christ, I cannot believe you don't know those two are on, on the same team. I just said they were. I said they're a you link. You said like, the question, is that a link? All right. Yes. Aliouk for Jay. Aliouk was his big score, 28.3 points. Who saw him scoring more than Mahomes and Cook? <laughs> I did not, but he did. Uh, it was very close. Yeah, he's been an IU fan from uh, from the jump, and so it was a big day for him. But congrats for Terry. She's got the uh, terrible twosome of Allen to Diggs, and she just happened to have old Kenneth Walker the third in her back pocket when Rashad Penny snap went out for the season, and he stepped into that role and busted out 19 points. Yeah, look Next at that game. right from the get go. Next game, me against Mama. Mama takes me down. So. Woo -hoo! Uh, keeping me even with Jay there. Mama had a good day from Trevor Lawrence and R. Stevenson and Austin Eckler. 20, about 25 points from each of those guys on average. Uh, finally, finally, <laughs> Jamar Chase shows up you paid and off. gets his 36. Andrews stud all year with the exception of one game, which I'm sure we'll talk about, 25.6. <laughs> And a mediocre day from Sanders. I get 130. It's nowhere near enough. I got a 23 point shellacking. Um, and yeah, mama's actually in good shape. Yeah. So so your 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 statement at the beginning of this broadcast that you were scary good at fantasy football, we're going to disprove that much like most of the left's narratives about the election coming up. So yes, my mom won with long hair, don't care, Trevor Lawrence. And Austin Eckler, who started slow, but he's ramped up to quite a stud these days. Let's move on to Mr. Clemens and Joe with Need a Bigger Boat. Well, they uh, this one, uh, uh, Kev, you're not going to score 103 points and get a victory many <laughs> times in this league. Although I'll tell you, it happened for you two weeks ago. Needing a bigger boat, managing to get about 97 points. Uh, de a decent day out of George Kittle, 16.3, and Thielen for 15. On Kev's team, Brees Hall, talk yeah, about him later, say, 22 points. Yep. Let's pretend he's still healthy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And Brown with 17.7. A low-scoring affair, but nonetheless, it puts another tick in the win column for old Kev Clemens. Yes, absolutely, it did. Yes, and, and I was very happy because Joe in my division. But uh, oh, you're yeah, right. right. That kind of low score normally doesn't net a victory, but it doesn't matter what you get. It only matters who, who you, you play. play. That's and right. This is back in what I'd call the salad days of Brees Hall. And look at old AJ Brown tipping in to help with the win who he traded for. Okay, let's move on to the next. Hey, next why, why, group next, of games. There we go. There next we go. Slate, slate of games. Oh, here we go. Da, this was da, fun. Da, this da, was da, fun. Da, da, Not da, at da, all. Da. Look Spider at him with pig, the crown. Can't score points. Oh. He is ugly. He's my friend. He's Matt. <laughs> okay, we got Uncle Todd's family feed. 
uh, with 155 just Jeez. about, taking down his nemesis, the spider pig, old Todd, out with the toe stompers again, putting it down with good Lord Almighty Joe Burrow 42. with 42 and a half, followed by Travis Kelsey, who gets him 21 and, you know, very uh, predictable day from Justin Jefferson at 18. Uh, all was not terrible for the pigs. Uh, Smith Schuster, number 19, uh, on his jersey, number one in your hearts, gets you 24.3. And Jalen Hurts, uh, my uh, sloppy seconds uh, for you there. I had him last year. He's very good. Last year. <laughs> very good last year. He continues to be good, about 21 points. But Maddie, not enough. Uh, this was the slaughter I expected, other than thankfully seeing Juju come to life. Uh, I seem to be a magnet for 40 points against, be it Burrow or <laughs> Hawkinson now. I can't wait to see what comes up next week. Let's move on to the Wild Up Hoopas and the Malibu Stacey. Well, speaking of Hawkinson, he plays for the Malibu Stacys. Yeah, I didn't Although, see him here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, wild Poopers get it done. A nicely done cat. A victory here. Tyreek Hill, who's looked really good this year. Uh, 31.62. Christian McCaffrey back Wrong when he uniform was in, there. This well, back yet. when he was in a uh, light blue uniform. He got 22.8. And Leonard Fournette, who's had a very good year as well, another 22 points. She gets it done. Don gets a few points from Kamara, and then we've got Samuel from the trade gets her 16. And Tom Brady is not oh. the Tom Brady of old. And mm -hmm. I'm starting to wonder. He's got uh, family problems. I don't know if that's some. <laughs> impacting his play or is his play impacting his family i don't know but Chicken it's or not egg, good. absolutely it's yeah that was a, not good yeah that was a tough one congrats to cat good job on the one on finding your first victory cmc traded let's see what that does to his numbers do they shoot up to the moon uh under shanahan and san fran but we'll get to that later let's take for the last game which is uh greggy waggy versus uh tommy shelby oh this would be sam uh in their matchup Okay, well, Greg comes a, uh, comes out a winner on this one. Uh, he scores 125 just about. He gets almost 30 from Michael Pittman, Pittman Jr. Again, almost 30 out of D. Jackson. That is not Ooh. too shabby. That's 60 points from those two guys. On the flip side, she had a receiver, Chase Claypool, excellent player out of South Bend, <laughs> Indiana, if I'm not mistaken, for 23 and a half. Joe Mixon was 16, and I'm glad they picked a name, but I hate the name. The Commanders oh, get her 15. The, the Redskins, we're calling them that. Yeah, exactly. I don't even think uh, Native Americans uh, no, care this much was about. No, white idiots with the, this is too insensitive, you dummies. All yeah. right, we're moving on to the scores of week seven. We're done with week six. Now let's get to the meat of Camp Krusty versus <sighs> the Poppin' J. Well, I was, yeah, I was hoping to get back on my winning ways uh, that uh, I, you could shit in one hand and hope in the other. And, and I'll tell you which one fills up first. It was not hope. Hope did not help me out at all. I was taken down by Jay 137 to 119. I did not come with it, even though I had really good scores out of Jamar Chase and Mike Williams. A bunch of garbage from everyone else. Zero from James Robinson gets <laughs> benched. Mark Andrews gets point four. four. Okay, you but one tight end, you get your point I know. Four. Number one, yeah, point four, Mr. Lutarski. Lutarski. On the flip side, Patrick Mahomes, nice day for 35 last week. He's back. Uh, Devonta Adams was 17 and a half. And Eno Benjamin. Someone Kevin doesn't know. Continue. Never heard of him. Gets 23.3. <laughs> well yeah. done, Jay. Yeah, Kevin wanted to get back on his winning ways, but Satan had other plans. Satan being the Poppin' Jays this week. Nicely done. He was smart to uh, grab old Eno when uh, James Conner was dinged up. There was a lot of hype around Eno, and he he showed out last, uh, last week for sure. Nicely done in the win. Uh, yeah, you had a couple of eggs for sure. A uh, Dak came back, didn't light the world on fire, didn't even meet his projections, but we'll see yeah. if that picks up next week. And Andrews should bounce back. There's no, I have no doubt that Andrews isn't going to score another point four. So I think you're safe there. Let's move on. I, I think so. Wait, before you do, before you do, too late. Just a point of, uh, uh, well, just a note. Uh, yes. If you look at my running back situation, Najee Harris 
biggest yes. disappointment of the year. <laughs> he was my number one pick. He's terrible. I might have even benched him this week. I'll have to go and look. But you keep saying that, but every time I look on Sunday, oh, he's magically in there again. No, I benched him last. Remember? Uh, uh, we'll, I, yeah, exactly. We'll check the but, Let's move on. Time, but, time, but, time, but, time, time. All right, next game. Gentlemen, four quarterlies. Gets a loss scoring 106. Going against Joe, who really needed a win. Ended up getting it. A uh, decent day from old George Kittle. Uh, like uh, like that score, 21.8. 20 out of Aaron Rodgers, who actually, that score didn't reflect. He looked sharper than 19 points. I'm just saying. I did watch that game. And Derek okay. Henry gets, okay. yeah, yeah, he looked okay. An right. 18 and low-key decent. Uh, Khalil Herbert, uh, who's uh, uh, he was projected to get six six point six, ends up getting seventeen points. That was a route uh, against yeah. New England. Yes, yeah, I didn't nice. expect it to be that high. Nice, nice. On the flip side, Terry Kenneth Walker, good Lord Almighty, thirty two point eight. Two weeks, there, two weeks. Brilliant, brilliant strategy. Uh, just that was, strategy. That was smart to hang on to him. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, it was also great seeing Tua back on the field this weekend. Yes, no fingers up this time. He actually survived the night in beating my Steelers. Or sorry, I should say hanging on after only 16 points. Yes, this was a good game. Uh, in spite of Joe's negative points in his defensive category, still pulls out the win with those big uh, numbers you mentioned. Oh, I didn't even notice that defense. He normally has a much larger score, so I think this is just a flip of the road. And I was happy for Joe Warren right until I realized, oh, crap, he's in my division. I need him to lose more. Let's move on to, hey, Spider hey, Pig da, 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 da. Spider Pig finally spider wins does. a game. He <laughs> plays a person who got 90 points. He sucks. He's Matt. He's so my friend. Look at my score, Jerkwad. I'm okay. a lot of people this week. Let's look at your score. You Aaron Jones, like I said, I saw that game. That was mm. nice. That little shovel pass he did to Aaron yes. Jones. That was not, I don't know if it was really a shovel, but it was like right, right at the uh, uh, line of scrimmage where he right. threw it. Got it. So, yeah, that was pretty smooth. Uh, Mariota, eh, 16, 16. There's a chance. I was just filling in for, for, for my bye week. All right, here we are again. Juju Smith. Shusta, number 19 on the jersey, number one in Maddie's heart. It's actually number nine. And a half. number from USC, but go ahead. Whatever. And then Chris Olave, 19.6. Again, uh, I will admit I was wrong on him. Never heard of him. He's, I guess, okay. He's uh, a guy, yes. But, uh, yeah, uh, really loving your running back uh, situation. Isaiah uh, Pacheco. It's a sticky situation. Isaiah <laughs> Pacheco. Yes, and uh, we're a little okay. up and down on 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 most of my running backs. I don't have any consistency there at all. Well, Port Cat after her first win uh, suffers another loss. Uh, decent day out of Kyle Murray, but uh, some you know. Uh, well, here we go. Eight point two from Christian McCaffrey. What jersey wear was he wearing that week? Probably yeah, he was only there for a couple days. How many plays yeah. can he learn? You, what, right, you know, that right. was to be expected. I think he's going to see the field a lot, though. I really do. Of course he is, uh, yeah. Tyreek, uh, 14.2, and then the Packers get him 10. Not get her 10. Not a lot out of the rest of the team. I'm sorry, no. Kat. No, she certainly struggled. And, I mean, look at old Lenny Fournette, 4.6, really? I mean, Tampa Bay is on a bad slide, and this did not help her at all. He would normally score a whole lot more than that. He was projected to score 17 and a half. That's my point, Dum Dum. Yeah, yes, absolutely. Yeah. So, I'm sure she will rebound this week with at least a better score and perhaps win number two. Let's move on to, oh, Mr. I own the league, even without Jefferson and Cup. Thanks, I'm in. I texted uh, you about this, or, or no, the, the whole league about it. It was a, a house divided, if you will. Uh, love seeing all the uh, texts from, and I got to say, Sam is great. Sam is a breath of fresh air in this league that we've been needing. So welcome uh, to Absolutely. the league. She had a decent day from Herbert and yes. Joe Nixon. Another good score from Friermuth, but well, the Bengals, shit, I'll take 13 from my defense. Yeah. But Joe Burrow, you want to complain about the 40 he dropped on you. He dropped 50 on for Sam, and then he has maybe the number one and number two wide receiver in the entire NF league. He doesn't have them, and he and still, still somehow gets 40 out of the guys. He, he uh, or sorry, uh, where's his wide receivers? He gets uh, 18 from McLaurin, 
Judy gets him a uh, 16.6. He gets 25 from his defense. And uh, oh, Travis Etienne, 21. I mean, the guy, uh, scary good. Uh, A.J. Dillon, not great at 1.5. He didn't really need it. 172 is going to win you about uh, nine games out of 10. Yeah, 172 with Michael Gallup at 0.0. This is redonkulous. He is just rolling over people. The only way he's going to be defeated is with one bad day or somebody has a great day. Uh, I don't know who it's going to be up against him, but it's going to be some tough sledding. Our only hope is he loses quick in the playoffs, and it's a and it's a dumpster fire. Let's move on to the next Let's one. Let's move on. The Malibu Stacys versus go, Greggy. Go against Greg, and it was great. Uh, half <laughs> thing, this happens all the time. Halfway through the morning games, Don's like, I'm going to lose. That's it. <laughs> game's over, you know, and uh, just slowly through the day, that – started to flip-flop and then all the way until monday this one went until monday she needed a couple of points from uh who was it yes 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 and she did end up getting them she scores 116 well below her projection a projected score but it was enough to take down greg who had some underperformers sat me on his team lamar jackson who's been throwing up 40 about every weekend gets 10 taylor back 15.5 nick chubb who's had a great year he gets another 18.7 but uh needed needed more a contribution from the rest of the team and that didn't happen so good job baby yeah just a down day for uh for greg and like you said lamar jackson way off pace with that number yeah. Uh, yeah. Pittman down medcap down and out with that injury so he's going to be plugging some holes here and there uh let's see if he can rebound from that congrats to dawn uh, she steadied up. Uh, will she stick with Tom Brady? I don't know. He's been sketchy with only 11 that week. Uh, she's lucky she got the win, but uh, uh, we'll see where that goes from here. Let's move on to the standee. No, one more game. Check oh, that. one more game. We got Mama versus Mr. Clemens. Okay, so quietly, uh, really putting together a nice season. Mama, Braille Bombers gets 20.7 from No Long Hair Don't Care. Hey, Trevor Lawrence, but whatever. <laughs> Austin Eckler, great day, 36.7. And Ramondre, the guy I keep mocking his name, it's 23.8. Yes. Not too shabby. Ends up getting a respectable 147. On the flip side, poor Kev, Jared Goff, negative point. <laughs> Four eight. That's that is rough. Ouchie. Yeah. That that's ain't gonna hurt. help. That's hurtful. That's just that's that's not nice. Now we did get uh as projected 15.2 uh, out of Brees Hall, but unfortunately, I believe an injury to Brees Hall. I have oh, no yeah. idea how long he's out. Oh, now the year. Josh Jacobs, if you look, these guys he traded for are producing Josh Jacobs, part of that blockbuster yeah. trade. Yeah. Yeah. It's 38 and a half. He wasn't going to get that out of cup. That's uh, true. So uh, very well, nice. Well, However, okay. I'm on St. Brown. I'm on Ross St. Brown. Uh, really Injured. missed the mark. Yeah. He's supposed to get 18. He gets 1.4. Uh, as Maddie said, injured a uh, couple single digit scores the rest of the way. And the Ravens, decent day out of 16, but it wasn't enough. 109, tough. Uh, uh, well done, Mama. Yes, congrats to Mama. She's riding the Trevor Lawrence uh, train all the way into the station. Uh, she's got some big bangers there. Daniel Bellinger picks up this tight end who is doing great. He's been doing great the last couple of weeks, right? Just as a fill in because of a bye week. What happens? He gets poked. It looks like he got just, oh, maybe I like poked in the eye because somebody tried to, tried to get, oh, crushed his orbital socket when a finger went oh. into his helmet. I had oh, to go geez. to the hospital like during the game. Sweet oh, Jesus. That's why he only had 2.3. He was out. Meanwhile, on the other side with the Highway 65, yeah, the sun god, Amon Rock, comes back, snap out of the game within the first few minutes. Damn it. Brees Hall, Jeez. awesome day. Long touchdown. Snap out for the season. Yes. Oh, Mark for the season. is hurting. Oh, he may need to make some serious moves. On the good news, Mr. Shot in the Lake, Brian Robinson, with a decent 10 points. Let's see what he does more next week for Mr. Clem. And I'm sure you'll. Zero quarterback. Let's move on to the standings. Take us through. Oh wait, too far. Wait, wait. Go back. Back. There we go. There we go. The standings. All right. Let's Rockway do the standings. It, Brockway. Let's do Brockway. We got a two-way tie for the lead. Love hugs and ice cream and Malibu Stacy's 
both at four and three. Nicely done. Kev, just one game out of first. It's anybody's division over there. Let's see if there's any uh, 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 more uh, uh, distance between the teams in Ogdenville. And there is. Uh, Mama alone by two games out in front, five and two. Very nice. That's uh, a good score. Tommy Shelby at three and four. And poor Cat after getting her first win, another loss. Sorry, Cat, one and six. Uh, still ain't over. Uh, keep plugging away there. North Haverbrook, Uncle Todd at six and one. Nicely done. Camp Krusty and the Poppin' Jays in a heated battle for second place. <laughs> three and uh, both of us, three and four. Uh, well done, Jay. And finally, Springfield, a uh, gentleman for quarterlies, another team out front uh, by two uh, ahead of Spider Pig uh, is uh, in second place. And one game back out of second is needing a bigger boat. I should have told Todd or should have mentioned Todd is a three game lead over there in North Haverbrook. So, yeah, this is, uh, again, aside from one division that we're seeing a little bit of separation now that we uh, get into these, these yeah. uh, this series of games, Todd pulling away, uh, my mama pulling away and Terry pulling away. Yep. Meanwhile, behind most of those is some pretty close races. Uh, yep. Rockway all, all cinched up really tight. And then even with the Wild Poopers, they're only two games out of tying Tommy Shelby. So they're not out of it, yes. out of it. A That's right. Played. Let's keep our heads down and keep top talking. two, keep top right. two, That's go right. to the playoffs, right? So let's look at the activity today. There was a little bit of a uh, little bit of stuff. I'll walk us through this one. We had a couple of bids here. Uh, first one won by Spider Pig for Evan Ingram. I think two marks. The price. I didn't go too much further over, but just to snag him. Uh, and this was interesting because when I'm doing the the slides the night before, I see that Todd needs tight end, and I'm like, shoot, I need a tight end too because I'm sick of pits. I got to get somebody else. But I'm like, well, I'm not willing to pay that much for Ringer. If I don't get him, I'll find somebody else. But I was happy to get him. Meanwhile, in the Battle of Paris, uh, my mama comes up with the right number twenty six. Okay. Can I bring up? Uh, can I bring up something? I made a can. comment. I made a comment either a week or two ago when I said, "Oh, when it's Mama's wallet, Maddie's big on the spending. <laughs> when it's his, he don't spend nothing." This proves my point. No, Twenty six dollars this... for Campbell and seventeen for Goodwin, and then look at yours: three dollars, two dollars. Hey, look at this look, garbage. Hey, look at the. I simply play it as the market. One dollar. Uh huh. I played the market. I'm not. I didn't bid fifty on Campbell or even thirty. I was above the total, but not too far over it. I was trying to read uh -huh. the room and make sure she got it. She's got lots of money to How'd spend. How'd you do on on Goodwin? Yeah, you pulled a real coup there. Twenty. She didn't get him. Hey, dum dum. That was her second one. In case that one didn't work, so she saved those seventeen. No, bucks. I'm not saying that. I'm saying you bid against yes. the market. I know. Nobody I else. Thought people would bid be on him since DJ yeah. went down. But you would be wrong. Hey, you were wrong. wrong on Kadarius Tony, okay? The $100 oh, man. Yeah, you were wrong on that. Go ahead. All right, let's move on to the first matchup, which is Camp Krusty versus Greg. Uh, I'm not looking forward to Greg. Greg is tough. He, his, his team is averaging 151. I know mine is averaging 156, but man, uh, tight matchups like this, uh, you know, I'm going against Lamar Jackson. I don't like that. Uh, Gino Smith, see, I've got him back in. Uh, Najee's back in for now. I think I got buy issues. And then, of course, Mark uh, Andrews is questionable. That's great. Uh, they think <laughs> it's going to be a tight game, though. The line is seven points. Yeah, this this will be an interesting one. Uh, will Lamar bounce back, at least fantasy wise, in this matchup? Uh, we shall see. Uh, will Nick Chubb continue his chubby ways? Will Michael Pittman with a new quarterback in Indianapolis? Matt Ryan, you're sitting down, son. We're done with you. We're trying this young kid out of Texas. Let's see how he does for Pittman. On your side, Gino out to be out cooking Russ as usual. Mark Andrews, again, questionable, but he should bounce back. I do like the ballsiness of putting Taysom Hill still in there. <laughs> Hoping for that next more touchdown game just maybe starting two tight ends that was a brazen move it's him or robinson and i don't know what's going on with him and uh, the jets yet so yeah, well they got two they're going to spare his hair time between carter yeah. and him but yeah. you do your research like i know you do <laughs> move on to the next one next game we've got da -na -na, 
da, 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 da. Matt playing one of his old friends. No, uh, this is a division rival game. Oh, well, this will be good. So we've got yes. Matthew averaging 138. They don't think he's going to deliver that. Mm. They, they're they thinking you're going to score a measly 125. Oh, uh, average you. and projected totals have Joe winning, although it's tight. Again, another close one. The line is six and a half for needing a bigger boat. I'm not sure if he got a bigger boat, but he, <laughs> if he's going to go fishing for you, he's going to need a much bigger boat. <laughs> he's going to need a giant. He's going to need a whaler. Get a like, whaler. A giant, like a chinese uh whaling boat exactly <laughs> or japanese whatever he's off the starboard bow he's surfacing <laughs> so check it out we got aaron Rodgers going up against oh sweet jesus buffalo this will be an interesting test for them lost two games not looking great doesn't trust his receivers maybe this is where he finds a secret sauce James Potter, does he see the field? Does he stay healthy? Does he make it through a game? Only time will tell. George Kittle with Skittles. Is he going to get a Denver San Fran on my side? Welcome to the team, Evan Ingram. You're starting, kid. I'm setting pants for putting Ingram in. Let's see what you do. My Patriots defense that I was riding for a number of weeks here fell flat on Monday night against that stupid Chicago team. Let's see if they can rebound. And, hey, DeAndre Swift, I drafted you first, you jerk. Stop being hurt and get your butt back on the field. I need those points. All right, moving on to the next game. <clears throat> and then, Joe, if you're listening, you got three three cues on your team, so keep your eye on that. Okay, I'm we've got to help him. Go. Tommy Shelby Racehorses projected to get 120. Going up, oh, my God, going against the Braille Bombers, projected to get 120. The line here is .1 as it stands right now. That's <laughs> exciting. This is too close to call. Yes. Okay, 10 minutes, Jack Hole. 10 now, minutes. Why do you think I'm rushing? You uh, got anything on this? Yes, I do. Daniel Jones getting it done for flipping Giants. Look at them. They are they are running an incredible system this year with Brian Dable as head coach. Chubba Hubbard, Mr. New CMC, played very well in that bouncing in Tampa Bay. Will he get it done? Will he do 9.9 or better? We'll see. Brad Pat Friermuth is the key to unlock the Kenny Pickett game. Let's see if he can continue. Ezekiel Elliott, a little dinged up on those last few plays, uh, but in the win uh, for Dallas, hopefully he can get it done for Mama Tyler Higby, thankfully back into the lineup because she doesn't have to stream some other tight end she doesn't know about. And then Naeem Himes, will he see an increase with the rookie quarter back there? Moving on to the next game. Well, one thing to make note of, is on that previous one. Was that a division game as well? Might have been. I have no idea. Moving on. We got all right. Uh, this one minutes. is not a division game. This is Malibu Stacy's projected to get 140 points. Wow, that'll work. Going up against the Poppin Jays, who they're thinking this is going to be a blowout, but you but can see Mahomes, up top, yeah. he's got Patrick Mahomes on a buy. So as soon as he plugs somebody in, this thing is going to tighten up quite a bit. Uh, I can't see who he's got at quarterback. But looking at the rest of these matchups, I don't know, Matthew, does anything stick out to you? He doesn't have anybody at quarterback. That's why Patrick Mahomes has zero. We'll see. Yeah, who no, no, no. Him. Any other, yeah. any other no, game. I don't know yeah. who he has. He's got Tyler Algier starting running back. That's, you know, we'll see how that works out. Uh, Devontae Adams has been doing good. Greg Dulcich, who I love <laughs> as a tight end. He got what Albert O was supposed to in Denver. Let's see how that works out. I don't even know if Russell's going to be playing or that other guy who played last week. And Michael mm. Thomas. Uh, has been absent from the field. If he comes back, that's going to be some good points. Yeah, you know, yeah. TJ Hawkinson looking for a second 40-point game. Debo Samuel, let's see how he does with CMC in the backfield. Oh, crap. I went back. Wait. There we go. And Kirk Cousins, if I die, I die, hoping to get 19 in Arizona. Moving on to the next game. The We've Vial got Poopers versus the Gentleman Folk. Yes, we do. We've got the Wild Poopers desperately looking for their second win. Uh, if things go as projected, it's going to be a tight one. Another she's one. Got, she's got McCaffrey out of San Francisco. That's going to be interesting to watch going forward. Tyreek Hill's averaging uh, what he's projected, 22. That would be great. And Michael Carter, ooh, sharing time with my guy. I see what's going on over there. On Terry's side, boy, they love Josh Allen. They think he's going to get 28. I don't know. Oh, uh, why I would even doubt that his average is 36. I think yeah. they're low ball on that one. I don't know who they're playing. Is Green Bay that good of a defense? I'm not aware. Uh, Tony no. Pollard, eh. 
uh, Kenneth Walker. Oh, that's going to be another interesting one to watch. Mm-hmm. And Diggs. So she's got, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, this is going to be a close one, too. I think this is too close, too. Yeah, this will be fun because now we'll have CMC with another week with the Niners. How much yeah. more playbook does he get? How much? How many more of uh, 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 schemes do they set up for him? Uh, Tyreek Hill had a low scoring week compared to his average last week. He might do much better. And Michael Carter, Michael Carter with no brief score for him now. Let's see how he does against New England. That's a division game. That's going to be a fun one. It'll be fun to see how either team does. Uh, New England pissed, I'm sure they lost, on national TV when it was supposed to be stupid. Bill Belichick's the hoodies uh, was going to pass George Howells with all-time wins. That didn't work out for you, did it, Don, <laughs> stupid company? Uh, meanwhile, you got the the, uh, the Bills train running on. Josh Allen, Stephon Diggs, again, good. Tony Pollard, the only reason I highlighted him is because if Zeke is questionable and maybe they have him on a snap count, he may see more work in that game against Chicago. And how's Chicago going to play? Are we going to see the Chicago from last week that was great? Or the Chicago from weeks before that sucked. That's going to be a fun game to see how it goes. Let's move on to the next one with Uncle Todd and his stupid two perfect wide receivers versus Kevin. Go Clemens! (laughs) Okay, we've got Uncle Todd's family feedback. He's got empty spots, and it's still projecting him to get 151. That's pretty incredible. As soon as he puts... uh, uh yeah somebody else in there it's going to be even worse uh for kev he's got a um you know uh people down south have a a much easier time getting over trump's wall than he's got going against (laughs) uncle todd's he's got uh but you know we'll see what happens brian robinson jr he's the gunshot right uh he's playing again projected to get 10 i hope he does a lot better uh, Josh Jacobs, another guy got in the trade. Will Todd live to regret the trade going up against uh, Josh Jacobs and uh, whoever else he got? AJ Brown, yes, he's AJ back. Brown. He's going up against yeah. both the guys he traded away. Oh, that'll this be a exciting. Trade battle. This will be a fun one. Yeah, this will be a fun one. I, I like this one because it's a trade battle. So, um, yeah, I know who you're rooting for just because Todd's doing so well. This one, I think, is the one I think it's maybe most interesting. This is going to be good. Well, it, it, you know, with, with Todd at full strength, and again, talk about talk about what he, uh, uh, a man uh, with so many points doesn't need anymore. The Travis Etienne and James Robinson being traded away, <laughs> that just gives him more points. I'm like, well, you have to at least worry about James Robinson. No, he's out. It's Etienne. It's like, Jesus Christ. That is just perfect for Todd. It's just all falling together. Um <laughs> Go with no tight end in trouble. The win going his. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm hoping for the upset. It's David versus Goliath. Go, David. I hope AJ Brown and Josh Jacobs score 50 apiece, and all the rest of your guys score 20, and you finally take down this sack named Todd. Oh, that's it. Look at that. We only got three minutes left. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm trying my best. We did well with our time. We did. We did good. And before we totally get off of last week, Todd, I noticed yes. you have an empty slot in tight end. Taysom Hill is ready for some new scenery. Come He's talk to me. Bucks, you're gonna trade him? Don't talk to me. It might only cost you Cooper Cup or Justin Jefferson. Oh, okay. oh, oh totally. Hey, that's a that's a that's a good trade, Todd. Go for that. If Paul was drunk and still in the league, he would have probably done that one night if he was just trying to get his jersey back over his head. It's over. Hey, I'll, I'll throw in someone else. What's that? I'll throw in someone else. Come Absolutely. talk to me. Absolutely. You'll kick in somebody like a kicker. I love it. Your background <laughs> looks awesome. And I'm Thank sorry you. we didn't dress up this year, folks. Yeah. Maybe we'll do something for Santa Claus and Kevin can be my elf on a shelf uh, when it gets to Christmas time. <laughs> oh, we'll see oh, oh. Yeah. So, uh, Kevin, any final thoughts on going into week? Eight is it? This is yeah. nuts. I can't believe it. Yeah, I know. It's uh, we're on the we're getting very close to the back third of this season. No, just don't forget to set your lineup for Thursday. No a couple does. of people had empty slots and some buy issues, so don't forget to check that on Thursday tomorrow. Um, what else is there? Any trade deadlines that we need to start announcing or anything? Or are we I still think waiting? that's in November, if memory okay. serves. So, All right. so yeah, once 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 we once we get in November, we'll take a look, and I'm. Pretty sure it's either towards the end of November or like maybe the 18th. Like if they guess what it was last year, well, Jason or Todd will know and they'll 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 chirp okay. tonight as soon as the video drops. Uh, okay. So, and again, yes, I echo what you said. Having Sam in the league makes it so so great because as great as Johnny was at drafting, he would then be like, well, you don't have it on your background, but if there was a ghost there, that was Johnny after the draft. You didn't see him. Most of the time, he said sometimes he wouldn't. It was like rolling the dice. Um, 
but we're happy with Sam and her participation. We need to get together. Terry, you're supposed to be the one trying to organize these get-togethers. I've heard bupkis out of you. <laughs> you're like Chase Claypool last year for the Steelers, unavailable and dropping the ball every time we threw it to you. So get up on it. Come up with some ideas. If not, I will take on the baton next week and see what I can find because I need to see people. I think we together um, and, uh, and, and hang out a little, watching some games. So let's talk about that. Kevin, any other uh, thoughts? Halloween? What are your kids going as for Halloween? Uh, even going. I don't know. They're old now. I don't know if they do that. Yeah, they're going to go. Enough. Supposedly, Emma was supposed to go as uh, Darcy from Darcy and Stacy, some reality show. And okay. uh, Michael wants to go as Michael Myers, but we still yeah, have to go there. Yeah, has he seen Halloween? Oh, yeah, he saw that original? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. He loves that movie. Michael Myers is his favorite bad guy. So Now, does, yeah. now does, does he watch all the other sequels? Did you see the, the recent one that came out? Yeah, yeah. We both love the 2018 one. Okay. We thought the, uh, the Halloween Kills was a little bit weird because it started to get into Michael being supernatural. Less than one minute, wrap it, wrap it, come on. Wrap it up. We haven't seen the new one yet, but we want to. So, okay. Talk us out. I say a jerk face. Go, go. This is Matt Dickey signing off. Go, go. Take us home. Take classy bill sword. (laughs) Did we make it? Spookity spooks. Wait, I got to find the stop button. Oh, good trick or treating. Watch out. Those are boys in the apple.